Something that's very important when you're developing HTML, especially in the environment that I've got open here, where you're using a text editor like Text Wrangler, which I'm using, and a browser, and you're flicking back and forth between the text editor, Text Wrangler, and the browser, which the browser I'm using is Chrome, and you're trying to update on the text editor, you're going back and you're seeing the effect that it has in the web browser. That workflow is quite important to understand exactly what's happening. The thing is, is that I have got my text editor and it is looking at a file called sample1.html and I can see that here in my file path. I am also looking at the same file through my browser which is Google Chrome and I can see that both of those different pieces of software, the text editor and the browser, they are interpreting the same file in different ways. So the text editor just shows me all the text including the HTML tags and everything else. But the web browser, Chrome, is interpreting the HTML tags and is marking up the content, which is the text and whatever images or anything else that I have in there. And it's interpreting them, showing them in a particular way, based on the instructions that I've given it through the HTML tags. It's also important to realize that the browser, when it loads up the file, sample1.html, it looks at all the tags and it marks up the content and it then displays the page and then it sits back and it does nothing at all. It doesn't keep on looking at the web page or, or the file sample1.html to see if any changes have occurred. If changes have occurred, I have to tell the browser to look again at that file or refresh the screen, refresh the file, go back and look again, see if anything has changed and show me the changes. And that's an important thing to realize because it affects the way that I handle my files. And if I update in the text editor, like I'm about to do here, if I enter in another sentence, then I save that file. And I can do that through the file and save menu, the file menu and go save. And then I can flick over to the browser it doesn't show the changes until I refresh the screen. And so wherever the refresh button is on your screen, I can click on that button and then I'll see the changes. Incidentally, there's lots of shortcut keys for doing both of those different things. So for instance, to refresh your browser screen, I can go Command and OR on a Mac. And to save a file, if I make changes to it, so if I make another change to this here, I can go to the file menu and go save, or I can see the shortcut key there is Command and S. So I can go Command and S on my keyboard, and then flick over to my browser, and go Command and R on my browser. And that's the common way that I'll do things if I'm just working with this simple type of setup with a text editor and a browser. Save, refresh. Save in the text editor, go to the browser and refresh. And that's it.